Welcome to our Carols by Candlelight Christmas service. Although things are a little different this year, we are really looking forward to celebrating and sharing the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ with you. The calendar year starts on January the 1st, but for the church, it's New Year starts on Advent Sunday, the fourth Sunday before Christmas. Advent comes from a Latin word, Adventus, which means coming, and it's the time when the church prepares for the coming of Jesus, celebrated at Christmas. After the waiting of Advent, Christmas comes with joy and celebration. Although we don't know exactly when Jesus was born, December 25th has been the days that the church that the church celebrated the occasion since the time of the Roman Emperor Constantine in 336 AD. And it is when we will celebrate this year. Please join us as we sing Away in the Manger. We are now going to listen to part of the Christmas story in the Bible. It takes place just after Jesus has been born and it's still dark. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of God shone around them. And they were terrified, but the angel said to them, Don't be afraid, I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all of the people. Today, in that town of David, a saviour has been born to you all. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of, of heavenly hosts appeared with, with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those whom his favour rests. And the angels had left them and gone to heaven. The, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at, the, at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they had he heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. The angels came to tell of the birth of the Saviour of the world that very first Christmas. Bishop Matthew will now share some thoughts with us. Thank you for inviting me to be part of your Carols by Candlelight. My name is Matthew Parker and I am the Bishop of Stafford. 
So my son took our brand new car out for a spin. When he got back, he said, Dad, do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? I said, tell me the good news, son. He replied, the airbags work perfectly. Do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? How does it feel at the moment? Sometimes, perhaps it sounds like it's always bad news and it's no laughing matter. Bad news, there's COVID-19. Good news, there's a vaccine. Bad news, there's this Omicron variant. There are people who've got very sick and who've been made lonely by this. Uh, people who've missed time at work and at school because of COVID. We might want good news, but sometimes it feels that all we get is bad news. In these dark days, it can feel very dark indeed. Dark in, in here, in our hearts, dark in our streets and in our homes. Do you want to hear the bad news or the good news? Well, I want to hear some good news. And I want to share some good news with you. There is a light in all this darkness. There is a light of good news that shines in the darkness of the bad news. And you know what? Nothing can put that light out. Nothing. And this is how it all happened, as it's told in the Lion Storyteller Bible. Good news! said the angel to a girl named Mary. God is sending someone special into the world. He will be a great king. His name will be Jesus. And guess what? God wants you to be his mother. Good news, said the angel to a carpenter named Joseph. God is sending someone special into the world. He will rescue everyone from the wrong things they have done. He will be God's own son. But guess what? God wants you to take his mother, Mary, as your wife and raise little Jesus as your own. Bad news, sighed Joseph to Mary. The rulers of our country want to count us, to see how many of us there are. And to make it easier for them, we have to go back to our hometown, which means a trip from Nazareth to Bethlehem and with the baby due so soon. Bad news, sighed the innkeeper, shaking his head. There's not one room left in Bethlehem. But seeing as the young lady's expecting and all, why don't you spend the time, spend the night in my stable? Good news, smiled Joseph, handing the baby to Mary. It's a boy, just as God promised, God's own son, there in your arms, Jesus. Good news. Call the angel to the shepherds on the hill. God has sent someone special into the world. Now, someone you've been waiting for. If you hurry into Bethlehem, you can see him for yourself. He's just a baby now, wrapped up warmly and lying in a manger. But one day, he will save you from all that is wrong. One day, he will bring you peace. Then the angels fill the sky with a good news song. The shepherds went to Bethlehem and made a good news visit. And on that very first Christmas day, Mary just watched and rocked her baby and smiled a good news smile. Good news. Do you want to hear the good news? Or the good news? Because of this little baby born into our world full of bad news, there's light. There is light in the COVID darkness. There's light in the fear and the sadness. There's light for your home, for your street, for your community, for your family. And yes, there is light for you too. Whoever you are and however old you are, it's good news. Good news of great joy to all people. Jesus has come and Jesus will set us free and bring light. Wherever bad news is there, no matter how dark it gets, I pray that this Christmas your hearts and homes will be filled with the light of Jesus. Good news for all the world. 
Please join us as we sing It Was On A Starry Night. We would like to share a poem with you called The Angel's Song. Fear not, shepherds, for I bring tidings of a newborn king. Not in a castle, nor in a keep, nor in a tower tall and steep. Not in a manor or household hall, but in a, but in a humble ox's stall. Underneath a standing star, and where sheep and cattle are, in a bed of straw and hay, God's own son is born this day. If to Bethlehem you go, this is the true you soon shall know. And as a signal and a sign, sure as the stars that shine, you shall find some shepherd all swaddled in the baby shawl, and the joyful news will share with good people everywhere. Therefore listen as we cry. Glory to, to God on high, and his gifts of love and peace to his people never cease. Reverend Malcolm will now share a prayer with us. Let's pray together. God of compassion, you came among us in a way people did not expect. You came to us as Jesus. God of compassion, you come among us today in ways we do not expect. You come among us where we are. Help us to recognize you among us and welcome you afresh this Christmas time. Amen. So why don't you join us as we say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Join with us as we say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I would like to thank everyone who's been involved with the production of this year's Kingsland's Digital Carols by Candlelight. 
I'd like to thank Mark and Paul for their technical mastery. And Kings and Chorus, whom I'm sure you'll agree that all our children are angels for their wonderful reading and of course their beautiful singing over the last term. And I'd like to thank you for watching and getting into the Christmas spirit by joining us in singing Midnight. Now, as we sing, please break your glow necklaces and bracelets and join in shining the light of hope and joy this Christmas. So a special prayer of blessing. So may you have confidence like Mary to believe that God has a plan for your life when we listen and we trust him. May you, like the shepherds, hear and receive the good news and share it with the people around you. And like the wise men who followed the star, may you this Christmas walk in the light with Jesus. God bless you and keep you and your family safe. Amen. Thank you very much for joining us for our carol service. We hope that you all have a very happy Christmas and a new year.